Yeah, so look, this is part two of this of this lesson. Now we got Satan over here. Damn train, man. So this is verse 64. It says, and that he is patient and long suffering. And long slakia and long suffereth those that have sinned as his creatures. See? So the Lord, he's patient and long suffering to those that are his, to those that believe, to those that are turning to his law in hopes of getting right to receive mercy and salvation. But the Lord is patient. All right, and we have to be patient, you know, living in, in Babylon, man, living in this hell of a world. All right, we have to be patient with, you know, Israelites, man. Now, you got Israelites that, you know, have a zeal. And as of right now, it's not according to knowledge, but you're patient with them. And it's all on the Lord's time if they're going to receive it or not. You know, yeah, there's certain other Israelites that we see that are just reprobates. That the Lord has to, has to uh, destroy. So lucky for that little pop-up. You know, the Lord has to, uh, is going to destroy a lot of these people now. You know, but there's some we, we just have to be patient with, man. You know, you got brothers that, you know, um, you know, constantly, uh, they're constantly learning, you know, and you see they're slow, slow learners, all right? You know, they believe, but they're constantly asking you questions, you know, they're constantly, like, uh, asking you for a re- confirmation if a certain scripture means what it means and you gotta be patient with brothers man you know you gotta be patient with each other alright so from here I'm gonna get this in uh, Ecclesiastes 7 verse 8 better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof so better is the end of this age that we're living in. All right, this is something that we have to patiently endure. All right, is Esau. Esau and these other nations ruling over us. This system, this world, this age. And it says better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. The end of this thing all right, is what we've been waiting for, man. Okay, Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of the world that followeth. Okay, so this is a, this is a uh, necessary evil. This is a necessary bad time that we're living in. But you know what? It's going to lead to better things. All right, this destruction that's coming, all the violence and turmoil and unrest and evils that are coming, all right, are for a better good. It says, and the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. Okay, so it's better to be patient than to be proud boisterous okay because you could you could you could be uh you could be uh so boisterous you know so proud but you're you don't know your end okay it's better to be patient all right you know and the scripture says uh, better is he that uh 
hath little. I forget how it goes, but I want to paraphrase it. Better is he that hath little, but feareth the Lord. Okay. There's a scripture like that. Uh, you know, so lucky if I butchered it. But you know, having patience and faith, you know, you might not know the deepest, darkest breakdowns, you know, the parables. But as long as you have, you know, 100% truth, you know, prophecy of who we are and what's to come. You know, like the apostles go into, we don't need to be out there teaching that David played the harp. <laughs> All right. We're not out there to teach, you know, uh, things that are not beneficial to your salvation. Now, it's, it's cool to know these things. If somebody asks, you know, nothing wrong with knowing that. But what we're out here to do is, is to prophesy, man. To let our people know who they are and what's to come. Okay, because it's coming. You now the Apostle Tahar just posted a video how out there in uh, New York, you know, certain Whole Foods stores are requiring you to have a QR code to enter and purchase goods. Which is leading to we to the you know what? Alright. It's leading to the the mark. Okay. This is James chapter five verse eight. Be also patient. Establish your hearts. So be also patient. You gotta also be long suffering. You also gotta take L's and move forward. Okay, be slow to wrath, slow to anger. And establish your hearts. Meaning get your mind right. Get your mind right. You can't get your mind right if you if you're always angry, if you're always quick to wrath. Okay. You gotta take a deep breath, you know, let out, okay. Be patient. All right. Establish your mind. Get your mind right. Okay. Prepare yourself for the coming of Yahweh Bashimi I was shy draweth nigh. And we know that the day of the Lord is when the Lord's all out of patience, all right? It's a day of wrath. Okay. So right now we need to be patient with others. You know, they're like-minded, all right? We can smell bullshit, okay? Like the apostle also says, if, 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 if a ninja can't get it, we're moving on. I'm not talking about those, all right? The Lord knows those that are his, and a lot of times we can sense, you know, people that are right, ain't right, something that wants to get right, okay? So be patient with them. Okay, teach the word, you know, get your mind right, prepare others, because the day of the Lord is drawing nigh. Now going back to, you know, the boss of Tahar posted that video and he was saying, man, it's here, it's here. All right, we could be, you know, months away from them implementing the karagma, you know, and that's the end. That's the, the, one of the, you know, few last prophecies we're waiting for. You know, the sea hit, and then the nuclear missiles, man. Which, World War Three, and CBDC, and, you know, uh, the Karagma are pretty much here already, man. They just haven't been mandated. World War Three is here. You know, so be patient, be merciful, you know, and establish your mind. So with that, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashimi Awashai, Bashim Arakakodash. Double honors to our apostles and our elders that rule well at Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect.